the judge in former President Trump's hush money trial denied Trump's last ditch effort to delay the trial. It's set to begin April 15th. Judge Juan Merchant called Trump's presidential immunity request untimely, ruling that his lawyers had plenty of opportunities to raise the issue before doing so last month. Renato Mariotti joins us now. He's a former federal prosecutor. Renato, good to have you. We're just learning about this decision from Judge Merchant. What does this mean for this particular case? It means that barring some insane emergency, like uh, Donald Trump going to the hospital or something else uh, very unforeseen, that the first criminal trial of a former president of the United States is going to occur later this month. Plain and simple, just like that. Let's talk about the, uh, the emergency or some of the other things that could still delay this particular case. We, we reported earlier that this blocks another path to delay, but I'm curious, I mean, what other options do they have? What other cards do they have to play? They are running out of cards. Uh, and the reason I said unforeseen emergency is obviously, um, you know, Trump has a right to be present at the criminal trial, just like any other criminal defendant. He has a right to participate in his own defense. And so if you had a situation where, for example, he was unable to participate or something like that, right? Like he, whatever, you know, he was very ill or something along those lines, that might be a reason for delay. Uh, sometimes criminal defendants try to fire their lawyers on the eve of trial. I don't expect uh, the, the former president to do that. Uh, that can sometimes be a, a source of delay. I don't think Judge Merchant uh, would react very well to that in this circumstance. I really think we're running out of uh, possible scenarios in which the former president can delay this, which is remarkable, right? Because we're in the midst of a presidential race. Uh, we have uh, the conventions coming up. Um, so there's no question uh, that, uh, you know, this is going to shape the uh, presidential contest. Hmm. What do you make of Judge Merchant's uh, justification here, saying that it, it's just an untimely request to delay? Well, I will say that it was the cleanest way for the judge to deal with this from an appeal uh, perspective, from what I would say, an appellate perspective. In other words, he's not really getting into the merits here because I think an argument could be made that if he was trying to get too much into the reasoning here, then maybe his reasoning might uh, be changed depending on how the Supreme Court would rule. So the cleanest way for him to deal with this is just to say, well, you should have raised this a long while ago. It is very late in the game by Trump's team for them to be claiming that there's presidential immunity here. I also think it's fair to say that on its face, it's really a stretch, right? So this is conduct in which Trump engage, you know, engaged in a hush money scheme before he was president, while he was running as a candidate. And then during the first year of his presidency, he made payments pursuant to that scheme and ultimately that generated allegedly false books, uh, false entries in the books and records of the Trump Organization, which is the underlying crime here uh, under New York law. Mm -hmm. And, you know, none of that, as I described it to you, sounds a lot like a presidential act, right? An official act by the president of the United States. But that's essentially what his lawyers have to argue in order to get immunity. So. The judge could have gone that route and stated what I think is fairly obvious, that he was not acting in his role as president in doing so. But if he did that, then the Supreme Court, in their subsequent ruling on presidential immunity, which might, for example, provide that you have presidential immunity on a very narrow set mm -hmm. of circumstances, you know, it might actually have made this a little bit trickier, uh, depending on how the Supreme Court ruled. Renato, I want to get to that before we let you go with the last minute we have left, last 30 seconds we have left. Trump's lawyers were pushing to postpone the trial until after his presidential immunity claim in his federal election interference case is resolved. The Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments later this month, April 25th. That's 10 days after the hush money trial is set to begin. How could the high court's ruling impact this case with the last 20, minutes, 20 seconds we have left here? Sure, I think it's unlikely to. I think the way the Supreme Court's going to come out is that there are certain acts for which the president does have immunity, but they're narrow and they're circumscribed. I doubt that they that they go so far as to cover 
hush money payments to a former mistress and various ways to conceal that. Clear your calendar for later in April because we'll have you back to talk about this all over again. Former federal prosecutor Renato Mariotti, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.